Hey everybody, and welcome to this how-to video on how to import and export PCAP files into RSA NetWitness. I'm Mike Godin, Senior Systems Engineer with the RSA NetWitness team, and this will be a use case and demonstration on NetWitness version 11.4, where we're gonna try to highlight importing PCAP files into NetWitness. I'll talk a little bit about request versus responses when doing PCAP analysis. We'll use the respond tab to complete some PCAP export functions. We'll use the event reconstruction view to do PCAP exports. And we'll talk a little bit about the streams meta key. This how-to video will showcase the NetWitness network components. Specifically to do these exercises, you'll need a NetWitness head unit, concentrator, and packet decoder. All right, with that, we're gonna go into our NetWitness user interface, and we'll start by importing a PCAP. So to do that, we're gonna to want to start by going to the admin and services tab. So by choosing admin, and services, we'll see we have a network decoder. And on that network decoder, we have a view system screen which when we highlight that will take us to this page where we can choose to upload a packet capture file. From here, you have the ability to browse your file system to import a PCAP file and you can choose the checkbox that says track file name. This is an important feature because when you're doing Static PCAP analysis, you'll want to use the source file meta key to view sessions associated only with that PCAP file that you imported. So if I were to browse my file system and upload a PCAP file and go back to my investigator navigate view, you'll see I have the ability to filter all sessions based on a specifically loaded PCAP. There is a source file name key that gives us the ability to look at any PCAP files that have been imported and choose them as a filter. And we can navigate those flows and filter out all other views within our NetWitness Investigate pane. Now, Within Investigator, you'll see there's actually another key that's really important, and that's session streams. Session streams is always gonna show a value of one or two. Why this is important is because for the, the sake of filtering out noise, when you have data flows going in and out of your environment, there are other preventative tools that are gonna act on those flows. So firewalls, proxies, things that drop packets as sessions take place. So, you know, let's say you have a client that communicates out to a command and control server and the proxy is able to determine that it's a, uh, you know, a, a categorized and malicious URL. It may choose to block the response packets that come back to the client initiator. And the result is in your packet recording, you may have a single-sided session or a session that only contains uh, one stream. Now, there are investigative use cases for single-sided streams, but for this case, uh, as far as the filtering is concerned, um, we really don't care about any single-sided sessions because they're only going to contain a request page um, in them. You know, if we were to look at you know, the sum, you know, a, a couple of sessions, let's say a DHCP session, for example, and just look at that particular flow, you'll see there's really just going to be a request packet in this session and no, no response packet in that session. Uh, now, from the event reconstruction tab, you actually have the ability to go to actions and choose export PCAP. Now, when you choose export PCAP from this window, it's going to extract those sessions you know, into, a, into an archive file, and you'll be able to then go to your downloads page or your job queue in that witness and identify any PCAPs that have been extracted and choose the download link from the jobs queue um, to get access to that, that PCAP export. 
The other option, and one that might be a little bit easier, is if going to the Respond tab and choosing an event that has some network sessions in it, be sure to you know, queue in off of the network events within this view. Um, when we drill into those sessions, we're going to see in the event viewer all the requests and responses associated with this PCAP. Um, or with this capture recording. What you can do from here to download the PCAPs is you can actually use the download PCAP option. And what's nice about this is it gives you the ability to download the entire PCAP for the sessions that are, uh, that are in view or the events that are in view. You could just download the request payload or download the response payload accordingly, um, or just download all the payloads versus the entire PCAP, which is payloads and headers. Um, and doing it from here gives you the ability to as opposed to having to go into your job queue, the PCAP will essentially uh, download right in the browser and give you quick access to it. That concludes this overview of how to import and export PCAPs into that witness. Thanks and have a good day, everybody.